RJ Sensei. So just one moment. So wait lang guys ah. <laughs> Mga 6, 6 p.m. actually yung start natin, 6 p.m. Wait lang natin sila. So let's wait for Koramochi Sang. I don't know why she's not here. Sige, dyan lang kayo guys. Stay in lang kayo ah. Magsasalita lang ako. <laughs> Again, for those who are watching right now, we have Naomi and An here. So we're waiting for our partner language in Japan. In Japan, the principal, which is uh, uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Koramuchi. So again, guys, today we are inviting everyone to join our FB live streaming. We're going to discuss and uh, we're going to interview some students now in Japan. So they arrived last April 2022. And also we have special guests, our partner language school in Japan. So later on, you will see how good their Japanese most of them <laughs> most of them either are really really good in Japanese okay so we have here RJ so so I have RJ sensei kyomo yoroshiku onegai shimasu hai yoroshiku onegai shimasu hai jya shashi omachi kudasai Okay, guys, again, for those who are watching, guys, again, we have giving away books and flashcard today, right after this live streaming. Again, guys, kindly comment your full name, your contact number, and email address on the comment sections. Then you will, you could get one raffle entry for our raffle draw today. So we're giving away flashcard for N5 and N4 and also Japanese book from N5, N4, and N3. So again, guys, for those who are watching, what you need to do, guys, share our live streaming and comment your full name, uh, educational attainment, uh, no, no, full name, email address, and contact number. Then you can get the chance to get these books, N5, N4, and N3, and also our flashcard. 
Again, for those who are watching, kindly share our live, comment your name, email address, and contact number. Then you could get a chance to win a raffle giveaway. So again, guys, we're going to start at 6 p.m. Again, we're going to start at 6 p.m. So let's wait for our partner language school now. I think she is having a trouble with her computer right now. So, Anne, you don't have part-time job now? I'll probably do my part-time once I finish the JLPT exam. Oh, yes. wow. What, yes. what level are you going to? July? Uh, N1. N1. Wow, N1. <laughs> wow. That's why I have to study hard wow. so I can pass. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. That's good. Okay, Jetra, yeah. Thank you so much. You could get a one raffle entry later. Ken Mujar. Okay. How about you know, Miss Ang? Do you have part-time job right now? Not yet. Um, I don't have one yet. So same, probably same plans as Anne. I might start looking after JLPT this July. Wow. Wow. That's really good to hear. You're so, Anna, majime. Majime na. Okay, let's wait for Nisa Zang. So get rid again. Thank you for joining our raffle. Okay. So again, stand by lang, guys. I need to keep talking and talking. <laughs> Stand by again, guys. Naomi and Ann, thank you for your time. It's my pleasure to be with you today, guys. Again, for those everyone, guys, kindly comment your full name, number, and email address, and you can get a chance to win a raffle, flashcard, and Japanese book from N5, N4, and N3. So again, guys, kindly share our lives. So yeah, Ken Sang, you already have one raffle entry now. So Melo, yeah, Melo Sang, thank you for joining. Again, make sure you already Ay, kumbawa. Kumbawa, yo ka. Kyo mo irash ka ni guys, shimasu. Yarashiku onegai shimasu. Naomi san, san, arigato. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Kachira kasa, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Eh, to Gerardo san, e, ah, Nisa mada desu ka? あ、まだですすいません。読んでますか。あ、読みました。わかりました。昨日確認したら来られるっていうことだったんで大丈夫だった。はい、来られますと言いました。はい、はい。えっと、今日あの何だろう。私たちのインスタとかフェイスブックで
それが始めましょうかそのプレゼンテーションが先にやっていいですかあのビデオ一つ見せてはいあとそれからプレゼンテーションがあるんですけどはいはいはいそのまま、いや、の、じゃあ、また、最初、まあ、ジェラルドさん話したら、その後、私にパスしてくれたら、私がやります。あ、はい、わかりました。はい。じゃあ、はい。OK, guys. じゃあ、Good afternoon, everyone. So, we have an FB Live,、uh, FB Live online streaming. We're going to discuss about the study program in Japan today. So, again, Keep sharing our live streaming, and you can get a chance to win the N3 books, N5 books, and also the N4 books. And also, we have flashcard here to give in away for N5 for vocabulary and N4 vocabulary. And also, we have kanji. Again, kindly comment your full name, your contact number, and email address on the comment section. Then you can get a waffle entry. So, again, guys, we have here. Our student in Japan and my, the, one of my best sensei under Beyond the Business, RJ Sensei, and also the principal of, the, of our partner language in Japan is located in Shinjuku, Ms. Koramuchi san. So we're going to discuss and we're going to interview them one by one. Again, before we start, again, I'm going to introduce our speakers for today. Again, our partner language school in Japan, which is Ms. Koramuchi san. And also, we have two students in Japan studying Japanese right now at Japanese language, school, which is An Sang and Naomi Sang. And I have my sensei here, RJ Sensei. And, I, and we are waiting one student also who already graduated and started working as an ALT, assistant language teacher. So, waiting、uh, for her right now. So, now let's have a quick presentation. From our partner language school in Japan, you're going to give us a、uh, view how language work in Japan and their programs and services. Hi, s i m a s e n k u r a m u c h i s a n y o r o s h i k o n e g a i t a s h i m a s u Gerardo Sensei, I、Hi. think it's not yet starting time. We, <laughs> we noticed that the live session starts from Seven o'clock Japanese time, so still five minutes.、Ah, okay, I, I thought you're going to have your own small presentation, so maybe later. <laughs> yeah, so just chatting or introducing each other or something like that, maybe it's better. Ah, okay, 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 because Japanese people should be on time, so I <laughs> okay. from seven o'clock, then they together, I hope. はい。Thank you so much. Arigato. Hi, don't I must. Okay, guys, again, for those who are watching right now, so I'm going to write all of your name to get a raffle entry for our、uh, free books after this live streaming. So I'm going to put your name here. And after that, I'm going to pick who's the lucky participant who can get the free books from N5, N4, N10, and also our flashcard. So again, guys, keep watching. And kindly share our live. So, from start at 6 p.m., we're going to start our li、uh, live orientation. Or just keep watching and please stand by. Okay, thank you. So, Ann san, Naomi san, kyo wa nani o shimashita ka? <laughs> What did you do today?、Um, today I did laundry. <laughs> laundry. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, the usual stuff.、Uh, I cleaned my room and then I. I talked to a Japanese friend online.、Uh, yes. Because we just finished the big examination. <laughs> just one year ago. I want to relax. <laughs> I, I want to relax. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. How about you, Naomi san? So today is my friend's、um, housewarming party. I'm actually、yeah. here in the room at the moment. <laughs> yes. 
どこですか Where is it? I think this is in Katsushika. Katsushika. Hi. <laughs> It's a house. So they, it, is,、um, it is an apartment. A two, Nikai, so two floor apartment. It's really wonderful. I think it's been recently built. It's really, really, it's really, really modern design. <laughs> so we attended their party. They're having a party upstairs at the moment. That means I'm okay. Yes, I'm very okay.、Um, I don't hear them.、Um, The walls are thick, so normally the walls here in Japan,、um, you could hear the other or your neighbors, but、mm. their place is it's pretty solid. I don't hear the noise upstairs. It's all、oh. it's all right. Hi, Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We are still waiting for one more people, one more person. Geraldo san, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I just had my monthly checkup now for my back.、Mm. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, my back is doing good, I hope. Hopefully, next month I could do more work. Oh, okay. Related to our problem. Good news.、Services. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good news. Yeah. So, Ali J a y san,、yeah. nice to meet you. This is the first meeting to you. はじめまして。はじめまして。<笑>はい。How are you today? は、まあ、今日は元気です。実は。今日はそうです。いつも元気じゃない。そうです。いつかね。<笑>まあ、そうですね。まあ、実は、えっと、昨日の晩から今にかけて寝ませんです。まあ、え<笑>本当元気です。そうです。ずっと仕事 ?Keep working? あ,あ、いいえです。ニニクインです。ニニクインです。へ<笑>えー。大丈夫ですか、まあ、はい、大丈夫です。はい、大丈夫です。大丈夫です。はい。OK。So, in one minute, so, we're going to start. It's a, almost one minute.、Mm-hmm. So, yep. I'm, it, it, I'm setting the screen sharing.、Mm-hmm. OK。I wonder if it works or not. Ah.、Uh, e- ジェランド先生、I can show the video with voice. Oh. How do you think? I, I, I forgot、Maybe. the name of the Yamamoto. What's the、uh, name of the girl、uh, before? Uh, uh, He did、uh, something on the screen before, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. You can see the screen now. I can see. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. Okay. Then, hello everyone. This is a video from Lingua Japanese Language Service. We recommend April admission strongly. I show you. This is the reason why I recommend you it. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Hi. Thank、you 
It stopped. Ah, また止まってますよね。はい。なんでかな。あ、はじめのちょっとね。ちょっと待ってね。ございました。はい、宮沢。はい、宮沢、はいうんはい、来ました。宮沢さん来ました。宮沢さん、はい、こんにちは。はい、こんにちは。宮沢さん、こんにちは。thank you for joining today。I'm、はい、sorry, I'm late, さんさんね。大丈夫です。ありがとう。it's good timing, really。Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, Gerardo san, I now I want to explain about our school with presentation to the audience. Is that okay? okay. Yeah, yeah.、Hi. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Ja, do mazaimasu. Hi. Okay.、Um, so now, ja, ajima shoka. Ja, i desu ka. Hi. Ja, again now. So, we're now complete. So, I'm going to this all of our guest speaker now. So, I have here Niza. Niza is now in Japan. Before,、Hi. he was a student also, a Filipino student, and now he is working as an ALT, assistant language teacher. And again, I have here Anne. She arrived last April 2022 and now currently studying in Japan also. And also, we have here Naomi. He also,、uh, she also arrived last April 2022. And I was studying also at language, and I have my sensei here, RJ Sensei. He is、uh, teaching N5, N4, and N3 under Beyondo. And also, our main guest speaker for today, our partner language school in Japan, Ms. Koromochi. Yoroshiko n e g a i t a s h i m a s u Yoroshiko n e g a i t a s h i m a s u Okay. So now I'm going to introduce one by one our speaker for today. I'm going to ask some Japanese and some English. So, again, first I'm going to introduce my sensei. So, for you to know my sensei, because she, he is the only sensei I have here in Beyondo. <laughs> and I'm looking for the best one also since we are、uh, uh, lacking of sensei. But I need to find a good sensei that has a passion in teaching, not only passion for the monthly salary. <laughs> so, again, so again, I have a、uh, sensei RJ. So, Miss、uh, uh, Sensei RJ, we're going to introduce he,、uh, his name in Japanese. So, hi, Sensei RJ. Just a Jiko Shokai no Gaita Shimas. Hi, Kantana Jiko Shokai desu ka? 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 Hi, Kantana Jiko
um, sumiwa, piyoko shitari, ono yondari, um, hongaho kikitari ki surukoto desu. Uh, genzai, ensang made, nihongo o shiru arubaito shite orimasu. Um, tsumari, uh, nihongo no kuyoshi desu. Ma, mo, ni nen kan shite orimasu. Dozo yoroshiku onegai itashimasu. Ha, domo zaimasu. Okay, let's have our first guest speaker for today. So let's have our past student. So she is now an ALT teacher in Japan, a language, a assistant language teacher, and she improved a lot. How she dressed seems she is a Japanese lady now. I was amazed. <laughs> Okay, Ja for today, Ja. Nisa Sang, can you introduce your name to everyone? English, so go... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ego demo okay. Hi. So, good evening, everybody. My name is Nisa Rontales. And yeah, I came from the Philippines as well. I've been living here in Japan for four years now. And uh, I started working as an ALT for about three years ago. And for the first year, I, I studied Japanese at Language. Japanese school and after I graduated at that school um, I started to look for a job here in Japan and of course one of the uh, highest paid here in Japan is teaching English so I pursued that uh, field for me so until now I've been doing it and I chose to be an ALT because um, it's not just talking in English but I also have a chance to speak Japanese with my colleagues as well for my co-teachers because they are native Japanese and I'm the only Jap uh, I'm the only foreigner there so I don't have much opportunity to speak English it's just that I have to speak with uh with the students just English and then after that all in Japanese so for me to enhance or to develop my Japanese I chose to be an ALT so yeah it's really nice to meet you everybody thank you Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Ms. Anisa Sensei, can I ask you some question related to your work and related you way back when you were uh, when you were a student? So, yeah, sure. can you share your experience being a student? What is the best experience and bad experience way back when you were studying in Japan as student? All right. So the first <clears throat> the first thing that I have like. A big problem here in Japan um, was I cannot speak the language, and you know here in Japan <clears throat> they value the the language and the culture as well. So if you cannot, you know, if you cannot speak the language, the the opportunity for you is quite small. So for you to have like a big, like a nice opportunity here in Japan, um, I think it's necessary for you to learn the language. And uh, of course, since we have like uh, <clears throat> a student visa before, we are only allowed work for 10 eight hours and of course the expenses here especially tokyo is quite um expensive and of course you have to balance yourself in studying as well and also working so i i, I think that is the most difficult for me <coughs> sorry the the balancing of working and studying as well because of course you have to to excel at school as well because you're paying on it and you know um um, studying in Japan is not so cheap, so you have to value the money that you earned in the Philippines. So, and I am so lucky to have teachers in language because they are full support with you. They are helping you to find new job here in Japan. They are practicing you how to do like a business setup interview here in Japan. Um, the culture, I mean, and the language itself. They're not just. Um, teaching you how to speak the the general japanese but they are also teaching you how to speak like in hego because that is the only way for you to get like um highest degree in japanese for example if you're going to have if you're going if you are eyeing for it companies here in japan you have to at least n2 level so yeah you have to <clears throat> to cope up yourself learning the new language while you are working at the same time it's really difficult yes yeah thank you so much i understand that okay <laughs> okay so the next section would be what is the difficult part in studying japanese language the difficult part okay yeah. i think the the most difficult was learning the kanji 
Okay. <laughs> until now, that is my most difficult thing for me. I until now I keep on learning kanji, and since I am working in a j- very Japanese setup way, so all of the documents are written in kanji, and all the meetings and trainings and seminars sometimes it's we held in Japanese as well. So I think the most difficult for me is to learn the kanji. Um, I think. Speaking is more easier more than reading and to write because um, as of now, we are just using cell phones like smartphones or laptops. You just have to type it and then you can see immediately the kanji for that. And I used to have like that because I just keep on message uh, sending messages to my co-teachers in kanji, but it's just in uh, typing. So how mm-hmm. to write it is not, you know, it's not. I think it's not for me because it's really okay. difficult it's you. <laughs> to okay. write kanji. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hi. Thank you so much. Okay. So one more, uh, another question. So can you yes. tell me? Can you tell one word to describe language? Supportive. Thank you. <laughs> Thank okay. you. For supportive. Can you can you elaborate supportive? Can you elaborate that word? Okay, so um, from the beginning up to before you, uh, until now, they are still um, helping you. They are still supporting you. If you have any questions, if you if you need help, you just have to ask them, and they will, you know, they will openly help you as long as they can. So that is the reason why. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much for that word. I appreciate that. Okay, one last more question. So since you've been in Japan for almost four years, and I know most of the uh, part- participants and the viewers here are they are aiming also wanting to study abroad. What is the piece of advice that you could share to all students here in the Philippines and other countries who want to study in Japan and especially in language? What they need to prepare and what advice you could share to them? Okay, thank you. So you just have to start from the first step, which is learning the Japanese in the Philippines. Oh, they are shouting outside. I'm sorry. Some some <laughs> Okashi person shouting outside. Okay. <laughs> sorry for that. Um, you just have to start from the Philippines. You have to learn the language there, at least the basic ones. And uh, um, when you go here, it's not easy. I mean, um, our our image to be here in Japan is like, oh, Japan is a nice country. It's very a, a developed country. It is. It's true. It's just that <clears throat> you have to you have to mix yourself to Japanese people as well. So you have to respect their culture. You have to to follow their rules. And because you know Japanese law are so strict, and if you if they are just going to tell you to work until this hours you have to follow it unless you wanted to go back to the philippines and <laughs> and you know um as i mentioned before um learning japanese here is not so cheap so please try to study as much as you can and then since our teachers are always there to help us there would be no any problem with that and for you to get the job here in japan just don't stop passing your resumes for me um since <clears throat> since i was looking for a job before and my japanese was really really low <laughs> until now <laughs> um, it's really difficult for me to get a job and as an english teacher here in japan they are also looking for westerners you know that is the main reason for me like a big challenge for me since we have like distinct accent here in the Philippines. So they are looking for the like the basic accent, which is the American English. So I I take all the certifications I needed to take and then I took the seminars and training for me to to have this kind of accent because they're looking for the uh for the very good accent when they are when we are going to teach in elementary or in junior high school here in Japan. So I think that is the most difficult one, you know, the language and then how to get a job here because we are not few here in Japan. There's a lot of foreigners here. And especially if you are aiming to be an English teacher, they their priority is white people. 
I mean, they, they, they wanted like a Westerners to teach English to their kids. And I respect that. You just have to fight. Don't lose hope. Try to enhance your English. Try to enhance your Japanese especially because that is the best additional point for you to get the perfect job that you really wanted here in Japan. So thank you. Thank you so much, Nija-san, for that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you for your time joining our online live orientation. I know you came from work right today. No, Sensei, it's Saturday. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Saturday. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. Oh, it's Saturday. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Nija-san, for that wonderful explanatory answer to all of my thank questions. You. Okay. Thank you, Nija-san. Okay, let's have... Our next guest speaker, she is one of our students in Japan, currently studying Japanese language. So can you, in? Uh, I would like to introduce Naomi Sang. So Naomi Sang, just a quick introduction, please. Japanese. Japanese. Hi. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 に住んでいます。はい、よろしくお願いします。あ、よろしくお願いします。名前は。はい、よろしくお願いします。オッケー。レッツアイニットインイングリッシュ。オッケー、ビカス、デアラトバリティション。テンキュー。オッケー。さあ
my personality. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gambaro, I would say. Okay. <laughs> One Japanese word. So, um, yeah, I think so. For everyone who doesn't know that word yet, it's really working hard or working for it. Um, I think that is something that I would describe myself um, being being stuck for two years um, waiting and just waiting for borders to open up, um, um, stopping my career, but stopping my career in order to learn Nihongo and those stuff, but still we're thriving. Um, I, I chose to still continue, not give up during those years and months of waiting. And here we are. It's really amazing that it's it's really amazing that we didn't give up, that I didn't give up because now I get to experience uh, life here in Japan, learning with my classmates, learning with my senseis. And it, it's just an experience that I would love everyone to um, to experience as well. Uh, so if you're someone who's been waiting for years as well or for months, um, just continue thriving. Just don't give up. Um, gambate every day. And then yeah. you really get to grow and grow each and every day, I guess. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I know, again, you just arrived last April, and I think April, May, June, it's like three months being with language. Again, as I, 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 yeah, I think three months, I guess. I, can you, uh, no, two months, sorry, April, May, yeah, two months, sorry. Can you give me again one word also that you can describe language? Um, Nisa-san already said supportive, so I will say professional. All of our teachers are very professional in a way that it's not just strict, but it is something that they always remind us to, um, because we're not playing here, it's not because we're students here, we can, you know, just be students. They are always preparing us to become these professionals to become these professionals ready for Japan, ready for J- for Japanese careers, ready for Japanese um, companies as well. And whenever um, whenever we ask for help, whenever we ask questions, our teachers are always ready to answer us to help us professionally. And I think that is something that I'd say is very commendable for our school um, because well, they set this sort of um, boundaries for each and every one. They would still help us, but also encourage us to try things on our own. Uh, if I could give an example, um, our teachers would ask us to, would encourage us to say, um, create a bank account, something as simple as that. But they are also ready to help us, um, ready to help us because it's really, really difficult. I'm just a heads up for everyone. It's difficult to um, create banks here, to create everything here. But um, our senseis are very helpful in that sense. And even inside the classroom, um, our senseis are able to explain everything professionally. And it's really easy for us to understand. So um, I really recommend language for my friends back home, for everyone who's in um, in other parts of the country. It's, I'm not saying this because we're here, but it's really an amazing school. It's only been two months for me, a um, couple of months more if I add the Zoom session. And even then, they were so professional as well, um, online or offline at that. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, one more last question. Again, a piece of advice to everyone who wants to study in Japan and be student visa in Japan also. Sure. Um, one more thing to add from Nisa-san earlier, aside from um, take your time in learning Nihongo while you're in your own um, countries, while you're in the Philippines, uh, that is something that would benefit yourself, not the school. Um, so the moment you get off the plane, it's already Nihongo. There's no subtitles here, unlike animes. <laughs> and that is, uh, you shouldn't do it for grades, but rather you should do it for yourself. And second thing is 
um, how you would want other people, how you would want foreigners to behave in your countries. I think that's something that you would um, take in mind when you get to Japan. So we're, um, we're foreigners here. We should respect the culture. We should try um, our best to adjust in the culture of Japan. So um, being on time is very important here. If that's something that you already pra practice, just continue doing it. Um, it's it would help everyone if it, it would help yourself if you could you know just try to do a little a little research on what on the do's and don'ts here for the culture um, that way when you get here when you start studying um, you won't be too surprised on about those things okay thank you so much Naomi Sang for thank that you very much. amazing amazing answer Shay, <laughs> thank, thank you. you for sharing your thoughts okay so lastly i have to introduce not lastly the next speaker <laughs> sorry would be ansang okay so yeah, ansang can you introduce yourself in japanese uh, hi hi uh, minasan konbawa anto moshimasu フィリピンから来ました。えっと、今私は東京に住んでます。えっと、趣味は旅行、あと、えっと、料理です。えっと、私は日本の文化に、あ、文化を深く知るし、えっと、日本語の旅行家が述べるために日本に留学することにしました。
few a few few years ago I met some Japanese people here in Manila and um I got to know I got to speak to them, got to know them more, and actually I was um inspired to learn Japanese. And um through them I also learned about the um um the opportunities one can have if one can speak Japanese. So I think that was the turning point for me when I met the Japanese people here in Manila. And I was like, uh, I want to go to Japan one day and be able to speak like that, be able to be talk to Japanese people in Japanese, not just wow. English. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so I know in the span of one and a half year, passing the end to, I know you have a wide or long knowledge about Japanese. Do you have <laughs> any Japanese quotation? That you could share to everyone. Um, I'm not sure if I can say it correctly. Um, oh, that's difficult. Since I'm not sure if it's correct, yeah, but that's okay. If it's wrong, me... that's not correct. Okay. 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 <laughs> Gonite, Yeah, that's it. Yes. Yeah. So it's basic uh it's something that we learned recently in class. So it's uh -huh. basically when in when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And um it's really applicable in my case right now because I'm in a different country, in a different culture. So there are lots of things that I'm not used to. To do like um kind of culture shock, I would say, um, but it's really important if you want to study in Japan, if you want to live in Japan, it's really important for you to follow uh the rules and to do what they usually do because at the end of the day, you're just a visitor, and I think it's it's one also if you're um a student here in Japan. You're also like representing the country, so as much as possible, you want to you know behave well, um, not to make any uh, mistakes, not to make uh, to annoy people. That's why um, I think it's really important for me as a student. Okay, thank you so much. Again, another question. So, can you tell me again one word to describe language aside from being supportive, professionals, oh. and how you describe language as a salon? Yeah, I would. I wanted to say supportive, um, but if uh, uh, maybe flexible, I would say flexible. Mm. I say flexible because uh, I was supposed to go to Japan two years ago, 2020, but then the Corona pandemic happened. So unfortunately, okay. I couldn't enter the country. Um, but then uh, Lingage School helped me to, you know, participate in class online. So my classmates were all in Tokyo during that time. I was the only one stuck outside the country, but then I would, but still I was able to participate in class. So every day I would use the Zoom. Uh, I would log in in Zoom and uh, participate and talk to my classmates. And I am, I, I, I don't, I think other schools cannot do the same thing. I won't. I don't think they won't be able to do the same thing. I mean, given that, that kind of situation. So I think that um, I would say that Linkage was very, very flexible in handling the situation, the unexpected uh, situation. And also flexible because um, actually this week we just had a mendan, which is like where you talk to the teacher one-on-one. -on -one. So if you have any concerns, if you have any comments or things you want to talk about, they would listen to you and they would um accommodate to your concern so i think that's really important um well, for a student like me and and i think that's what makes language flexible okay thank you so much thank you. okay one more question sorry because you sorry <laughs> and <laughs> you, you you you're special you sorry <laughs> so okay so again Pandemic hits a lot of people, everyone affected. Why did you continue 
to pursue your study in Japan amid the pandemic? What makes you feel comfortable in pursuing Japan as your study place, especially the Japanese language? Why did you pursue? Because it's pandemic, um, everyone, you know, yeah, sorry. Uh, maybe it's just, maybe it's my personality, but once I'm into something, I don't really stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I've already um, invested a lot of time and effort in learning Japanese. So um, I don't want to waste all the effort that I did to learn Japanese because, to be honest, it, it's really difficult to learn Japanese. Learning kanji, learning keigo, casual Japanese, uh, the words, all the words that you have to memorize, it takes a lot of time. So I, I cannot just stop because it's pandemic. Actually, it motivated me more. And I told myself that after this pandemic, I'm, I'm going to speak better Japanese. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Okay. And during so, that... Yes. Mm -hmm. so, okay, yes. sorry. What... what, what... Uh, what you make, uh, what you, uh, what you feel makes, what you feel secure in Japan. Why did you pursue and what you make feel secure there? What are the things? Uh, uh, I'm secure here. I need to pursue. Me studying here because it's a lot, like it's a good place to go. I I think I'm yeah like ancient uh, Oh, there are lots of reasons. Uh, of course. Um, one is I already. Uh, like I said earlier, I already invested a lot of time and effort in my Japanese uh, learning. That's why no matter what happens, I, I have to go to Japan. <laughs> it's it, it's my goal. It's my goal. And also, uh, um, it's near the Philippines. It's just like three hours away, I guess. Yes, four hours. Uh -huh. So I, I can just, you know, <laughs> okay, okay. go back to, if I, if, I got, if I get homesick, I can go back to the Philippines and go back to Japan and yeah it's it's really an ideal country uh to study at yeah I I, I think okay thank you so yeah. much again okay one more last question on again another last message to everyone who want to study Japanese at language Japanese language school um message uh I would say Gamba, <laughs> Gamba. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> um, Japanese is difficult. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Anyone who says otherwise is not really <laughs> telling the truth. It's really difficult. So before coming here, before studying language, as much as possible, prepare yourself mm -hmm. um, mentally, you know, um, as well. Um, because when you come here, like Nomi-san said earlier, like, there's no subtitles. <laughs> there's no subtitles to guide you. It will be like um, everyone would, would talk to you in normal speed. Mm -hmm. So living as a as a, an international student is already a challenge itself because you're out of your comfort zone. Not only are you studying a new language, you're also in a new environment with people from different backgrounds. So it can be overwhelming. Um, it can be overwhelming. Um, that's why um, as much as possible, you have to prepare yourself. Study, study hard. Um, yes, study hard. And also uh, always remind yourself why you're studying in the first place, because it's easy to get distracted by lots of you know <laughs> in japan there's so many places you can go you, you 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 would start to feel like you're a tourist sometimes but you have to remind yourself i'm here to study so <laughs> yeah always remind yourself why you're studying in the first place and i think that will keep will you know will um keep you going to your goal okay here yes Okay, thank you so much. Wow, that <laughs> perfect. Wow, that's supposed to be an amazing answer. Nisa, Naomi, and wow, best ever answered I'd ever heard. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and your uh, 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 experience studying Japanese with us. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
Okay. So the next one would be our special guest and our partner language school in Japan. So she will going to share the program and services that Japanese lingua, a language Japanese offer. So language Japanese, by the way, it's located in Shinjuku, Tokyo, Japan. So again, I'm going to introduce our partner language school in Japan, Miss Kuromochi Chang. She will going to present the program and services that Japanese language school offers. Hi, Simasen. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for warm recommendation, three girls. <laughs> we are <laughs> yeah. very, very proud of you. <laughs> Niza san, Naomi san, An san. Each of your comments are amazing and very, very impressive and very honest. I know. Yeah. I'm, I never forget what you say today. And we try to keep improving our skill of teaching and how to do, how to treat our student. I promise. Thank you very much. Now I'm explaining about our school a little bit more to today's audience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much for watching today. So now I can share my presentation. Yes, we are seeing it right now. Is that okay? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, hello everyone again. My name is Motoko Kuramochi. I am a principal of Ringway Japanese Language School in Tokyo. Our school is a place of preparation for opening a new door to the new world. Work in Japan make your dream a reality with us. Okay, we have five strengths. Let me introduce something for you. Point one, each student use iPad to get used to how to type in Japanese. It is very helpful when you work in Japanese company. Point two, our school is in Shinjuku is the center of Tokyo and the surrounding our environment, the high building and uh, very close to Tokyo Metropolitan Building. And our school is also very new and clean. And point three, we develop curriculum, including not only Japanese language, but also business manner. So we are professional teachers team we have different kind of backgrounds of working in Japanese company. It means we can give you good advice if you want to find a job in Japan. So we have a special approach to finding employment through Japanese company tours and research. This is our um, specialty, uh, including job hunting. So, my team teachers support the realization of your hopes and dreams in Japan. But this is me. I have been teaching Japanese for almost 30 years and I'm get used to among the very different uh, cultures students from all over the world. And this is our team. Uh, Konomi Ishii is an MBA holder from Waseda University, which is one of the most popular universities in Japan. It's Ko Okada. She is an expert of job hunting support. She has national uh, career counselor. Uh, Nana Yamamoto, she's a master of Japanese education. She's very friendly, nice, and very energetic. You have four times of chance to join our school. One year from April, one year and three months from January, one year and six months from October, one year and nine months from July, because all of course end 
at the end of March in Japan. So this is tuition, the most important part to explain. Uh, admission and registration is 33,000 Japanese yen. I think now currency rate is very flexible, so please check the currency um, if you are seriously when to come to Japan, okay? Tuition, Japanese yen, uh, 792,000 for a year. Please prepare this amount in advance before coming here, okay? And the requirement saving means we have to show you a stability, financial stability to Japanese immigration. You have to have deposit in bank this amount of money. I know it's much money, but the, as you know, the living cost in Japan is expensive. So Japanese immigration require you to save this much of money before coming here. So this is course. Um, as I explained to you, from April, one year course. From July, one year plus nine months. From October, one year plus six months. From July, one year and three months. Now we are open for January and April. But for January, we are not available for beginner class. So if you, if you are a beginner, you can come here from April as uh, our students recommend you. Here, short explanation about our curriculum. First pillar, of course, Japanese language and culture, pronunciation, intonation, understanding basic sentence structure, um, dictation and conversation grammar acquisition, understanding of Japanese culture, vocabulary development, and reading comprehension. Second pillar, business Japanese and communication, honorific expression, meeting participation practice, speech, debate, presentation, situational practice, business writing, and business case studies. Third pillar, Job hunting support system, self-analysis and self-promotion, job interview practice, resume making, group discussion practice, industry and company research practice. So I'm sure that you are wondering who can be a potential employee in Japan after mastering Japanese language, of course. Who has JLPT N2? The, our current student Anne already got JLPT and it's, it's amazing. Okay, and not always a JLPT, communicative ability is required, of course, in English. And you have to describe what you want to do during the job interview. Some student says any job is okay if I can work in Japan, but unfortunately it doesn't work. You have to say what you want to do clearly in the interview. And again, you have to explain your strong point, what you can do for the company. It's the most important thing during the interview. But no worry, we can support you how to create such kind of description. And we can find your strong point together. So it seems very hard and difficult to studying with us, you think, but no worry. Of course, we have a lot of fun time. Uh, our previous student visited Disneyland and visit some traditional shrine and the temples, amusement park, and sometimes do some traditional activities like calligraphy and the tea ceremony, something like that. Um, every three months in one semester, we do some this enjoyable activity all together. It's much fun. So from here, I can explain the life in Tokyo briefly. I'm sure you're wondering how much money do you need to study and live in Japan? This is monthly cost of living in Japan. 
So average cost for foreign student is this much, 100,000 to 120,000 monthly. It looks much money though. As an international student, you can work up to 20 hours weekly. And the wage average for monthly is exactly the same amount of living cost, Japanese yen, 100,000 to 120,000. So it means you can survive with your earning during studying. But again, please remember, you have to save money for tuition before coming here, okay? And uh, this is type of part-time job. If your language skill is high, it's good advantage for finding a good job with good pay, like telephone operator, money exchange window, clerk and reception, even English teacher. But once after coming here, most of the students don't have high skill of Japanese language, so they do dishwashing, cleaning in the building, bed making, and food processing factory, picking and sorting in a distributor center, but still they can get some quite reasonable money for this working. So here is a sample of how to apply for April 2023. Uh, inquire to Biondo if you are Filipino. If you are not Filipino, please contact us directly and set up an interview with us. And take interview with us and make a decision to study in Japan. And please keep study Japanese during this period. And as Naomi-san and San Niza said, Japanese study is very important before coming here. If you get higher level, it means you can save and time, save, save money and time, okay? So in your country, please study hard. So in October, prepare requirement documents with your agent and keep studying, of course. Then next year, Middle, uh, sorry, the middle of November, we apply your student visa to Japanese immigration. Okay, the next year, middle of February, you can get COE successfully if you are okay. Then please pay the tuition, apply student visa to the embassy. Then you finally can come here middle of March and let's get start studying with us from April, okay? That's a successful story. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> so that's all for today. So right. let's have a get real experience together. So please contact Biondo, okay, if you are Filipino. If you are not Filipino, please contact us Facebook or WhatsApp with this number, okay? We are really looking forward to hearing from you soon. Okay, that's for all. Oh. Hi, thank you so much for that wonderful messages and presentation. Thank you. Okay, so again, to all our speakers, guests, Niza, uh, Naomi, and RJ Sensei, uh, Ms. Karamuchi Sang, thank you so much for today's thank event. You. I hope we could have another live online streaming on the next few months so we could continue gather small talks. To all of our students at Lingwage, we could hear these amazing messages from them, their experience, and everyone could learn from it. Thank you. I'd learn a lot to all of you, especially Niza, Han, Naomi, Sensei Ajit, thank you, and Ms. Karamuchi Sang. Again, okay. Lastly, guys, okay. For those who joined and comment their email address, commented their full name, I'm going to get three lucky participants to get a flashcard and the entry and five books. Okay, let's get the first one. Okay, congratulations to Gertrude Ken. Okay, so Gertrude Ken, you can choose which one do you want. If you want entry books, if you want flashcard, if you want N5 books, so you can message us later. Okay, the next one. Michelle Berisa. Okay, again, you can message us if what books do you want. Entry N5, N4, and also flashcard. And the last one would be 
Sheila Senon, Canon. Sheila Canon, again, congratulations. You can message us later. What books do you want? N3, N5, N4, or the flashcard for N5 vocabulary or N4 vocabulary. Okay, guys, it's almost a one hour live streaming online uh, orientation. It's been an amazing day and it's been uh, 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 good messages hearing from those uh, participants and to all of you guys. Again, thank you so much for today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for sharing our live. I hope we could meet again anytime soon. Again, Nisa-san, take care. Hope to see you soon, Nisa. Take care to your Thank work you, and good luck being an English teacher. Thank I hope you. a Japanese citizen ka na dyan. You look like a Japanese na. You're not a Japanese <laughs> citizen. Pa-uwi ako, pa-uwi. Wow, 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 wow. Hope vacation lang, vacation. Wow, wow, hope to see you. Okay, again, Ansang, thank you so much. Keep studying. Looking forward for your N1. Thank you so much. I hope the JLPT. Naomi Sang, looking forward also to for your ano, Japanese improvement. Okay, again, guys. Hi, Koramuji Sang, mata. Yoroshiko, onegai itashimasu. Hi, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you for everyone for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Otsukara sama desu. Bye-bye.